What's going on you guys? Theo here with the big review back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and we are going to be doing a quick intro today to announce the gift card giveaway winner and that is as you can see on screen here going to be FaZe and I don't know how to pronounce the rest of your name I apologize but what you will need to do to claim your reward is you will need to send me an email at the email you will see on screen and then within 24 hours I will get you the code for that gift card so congratulations to FaZe on being the winner for our 700 subscriber giveaway giveaway event. We will be doing another giveaway at 900 subs once we reach that goal, which should be in the next 70 or so, give or take a few subs. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we will be on our way to the next giveaway for all of you guys. But as always, I appreciate all of you. Let's jump into the video. I will see you all in the next one. Peace. What is going on, you guys? Theo here with the big review, back yet again with another episode of Pain and Suffering in Card Summoning. My name is Theo, I am your host, and I am going to be going in on the SS card banner in what is probably an ill-advised decision in order to get this card here. Will we get it? We've already gone to pity twice. We haven't gotten it. I'm not feeling good about it, but if you want to give me any type of moral support, smash that like button and subscribe because uh, it's gonna definitely going to be uh, not good for me doing this but hey you know what this ought to be uh this ought to be painful but probably entertaining for you guys because i have literally negative luck with this card banner i do not like this card banner we have a very strained relationship we have decided that after this last uh romp we are going to go our separate ways because this relationship we have is just unhealthy and i I just, I don't feel good about it, guys. I don't feel good about it. See? I don't feel good. Look at this. Trash. And I get the feeling, full disclosure, we're probably going to go to pity. And I don't want to go to pity. I don't want to spend more rubies. I don't want to do this. But I need to, because I'm a YouTuber. And I kind of, ooh. I don't need you anymore. I mean, it's cool, I guess. But I don't need you anymore. Unless you're going to decide to be very nice to me and give me two more pieces that I don't have. Oh, God. This is going to be pain, guys. I apologize if I throw up into my microphone. This hurts. I don't even want to. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm going to try not to fixate on this. So, basically, what we need... We need the Mai finisher, right? We've already established this. This is something we've talked about yesterday in yesterday's video. I need it to min-max my runs for things like Guild Raid and so on and so forth because I get the feeling that I can definitely do upwards of 600 million damage in the Guild Raid Lunatic dungeon if I am able to do so once I get the hang of my rotations and so on and so forth with this playtesting I've been doing in there, which has been coming along swimmingly. However, I do miss this card, and it has prompted me to get shafted yet again. It just, it's, it's so, it's so sus, guys. These card banners, I've said this in the past, right? So everybody talks about the rates on the fighters, and I don't ever typically find the fighter rates to be that much of a pain in my butt. What really causes me the major King of Fighters All-Star uh, indigestion is this stuff, because when you talk about, like, for instance, with collabs, right, if, for those of you who watched any of my summoning videos for the Seven Nights collab as an example, the, the pool is so diluted, right? Oh, at least there's red. Ain't like it's gonna matter at this point i'm checked out i'm just hitting buttons until i get to my pity i already know that they're gonna shaft me i'm trying to use the reverse psychology i'm not even gonna try and be hopeful maybe that'll work i doubt it they see right through it but with the with the cards it's just it sucks right like because you don't have any way to kind of pinpoint the cards you want in these banners the card pools are diluted by other five stars and it just, it really, it really kills you. It does. Because of all the different summons I've seen, which at this point I've seen probably hundreds of thousands of rubies just dying premature deaths due to this banner, it, it seems like the card banner is what kills everybody, right? I know it's killed me. This is, like I said, the third time I'll have gone to pity at this point. 
I'm assuming I'm going to pity. If I don't, if I get the my if I get the my card before, I'm I'm definitely bowing out. But it, it's not going to happen. But with with these card banners, I would really like to see them be a little bit nicer to us with them, give us a little bit better rates on the cards that are new, or stop diluting the pool so much with other cards. I don't know which way they want to go with this, but it would be really nice if they could do these types of things because that way people like me who are responsible, good young players who try to, you know, donate to the game when they can, where they can, and save their rubies like good little boys, they, uh, they just, they get shafted. They get shafted hard, and I've heard a lot of people get shafted on this banner, and it makes me sad. It makes me big sad. I don't like to see you guys get shafted. I don't like getting shafted. Nobody likes getting shafted, but hey, you know what? For those of you who are having the same sort of non-flashbacks as, as other players who have gone in on this and gotten completely shafted here, you can watch this and uh, take away from this a little bit, a little bit of solace in the fact that even your your dear brave YouTuber, the big review, gets completely and utterly decimated by this banner too. Oh look, another another one of the Alice cards from the Halloween event. More gold, yay! Well, that's nine thousand rubies down the drain. But you know what, guys? At the end of the day, when it's all said and done. Despite all of that, we finally have it. Look at it. I almost feel like when I hit the button, it's not going to give it to me. I felt like this was cursed. These summons were definitely cursed. Well, the less to be said about this, the better. Let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. Well, that was almost painless, wasn't it? I guess uh, now's the time we'll go ahead and get into the updates to the game that happened today. Right, guys? Right. Let's uh, just... Let's just ignore that we ever did that and that ever happened. So, first things first, take a look here in the Team Relay Challenge. You will see that you are going to be able to fight Immortal Rock, otherwise known as Xbox Boy, uh, this week for the next seven days. And with this guy, I have not actually, I believe he's the only one I have not finished. And so I get the sneaking suspicion that I am going to be able to do so here very shortly, probably here in the coming days. Probably this weekend we'll have a video up doing that. I get the feeling considering the fact that, oh, I don't know, there's a certain uh, certain busty ninja that we're going to be adding to this lineup that I get the feeling is probably going to take care of this for us. So stay tuned for that. But for those of you who are needing to get this done and have pulled on the SS banner, now is your time to go ahead and put that Mai to good use and test her out here. Very nice timing on this one, I would say, but definitely would say that Mai is going to be very, very nice for this, and I'm sure that you're going to see quite a bit of that over the coming days from people as they get a chance to test her here. But yeah, so Immortal Rock, he will be back for the next week. If you guys have not had a chance to do that, make sure you do. This will be a good way for me to comp some of my rubies, and uh, let's actually see... I'm missing out on, what is that, 11, 18, 2,800, not a bad number. That would put me, that would put me back over 3,000, or 30,000. So, yeah, that'll be something we do here in the next few days. Now, the biggest thing that has dropped overnight is going to be the SP dungeon for the score dungeon, and we're going to take a look here. We have already finished this, as you can see, so I can give you guys some inside intel, as it were, but first and foremost big thing I want to go over here is obviously going to be the exchange shop because that was something that leaked a little while ago and here we are guys it's official this is our exchange shop nothing has changed from what I can tell we were wondering what was below this line and it looks like oh wow look at that more gold yay but anyway these two lines here are pretty strong, not going to lie, so we're going to go through this. First and foremost, the big thing that everybody's going to want to do is pick up these first two items. You're going to definitely want to pick up the Lady Zero clone, as well as the Lady Zero clone memory. Now, if you are a new player, or a beginner player, intermediate player, if you are a player that just does not have all of these characters, A4, A5, so on and so forth, you're somebody that is needing a quality, or at least a good middle of the road red balance character especially for filler on a team of three when you get into the higher tiers of rhd later on and you missed out on rachel which if you're new you probably did 
then Lady Clone Zero is definitely going to be a good option for you guys. I would highly, highly recommend that you get her from this and build her up if you are in need of a red balance character, if you are a new player that needs a decent character in general. She is actually very nice for beginner players and you will get probably a lot of work out of her. She does really good damage. She is actually now much better that they have given her the ability to cancel her skills which we have gone over in a previous video and kind of shown you guys examples of that. But for those of us who do not need her memories, which mine I believe is at Awakening level 4 and I'm already past that tier of RHD, so I do not necessarily need these, so these are going to be good fodder. However, the bigger thing here, and you can also get her card if you're somebody that's building her up as well, so this is very nice. It's going to cost you quite a bit of coin, so you're going to be using a lot of AP, but that is the sacrifice that you make for the lollies. So when it comes to the next thing here that I want to talk about, because this to me is the most exciting, this here this is going to be 30 souls that you can purchase as you can tell right up here at the top daily so for those of us who hoard our purple dust and like to pick up those tokens daily this is a really really nice way to do that I'm gonna be doing this every single day so rip to my AP but hello tokens because this looks like it is going to be something that we can do at least seven times over the course of this dungeon because it looks like it does have a week's worth of time left on it so yeah guys purchase these because I will show you here if you go to your exchange shop and I'll just do this on camera so everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about because inevitably I get questions about these things and then people wonder okay well where do you do that and I'm like okay well I'll show you where to do that so basically you go in here and we're going to hit salvage and then we're going to hit this and as you'll see that's 1500 dust which is half the amount you need for one token I've already purchased the tokens for today so not necessarily a big deal but 1500 purple dust a day just for doing a little bit of grinding not too shabby so the next thing that I would recommend to you guys on here is obviously going to be the capsules meaning the attack defense and HP capsules which uh, I will go ahead and purchase a few of these now so that is going to be the things that I'm going to target each day. I'm definitely going to be picking up the Lady Zero and the Memory as well as her souls each and every day. I'm going to do those. And then as far as the other things going on here, the Plus Imprint Stone Mystery Box and the Elemental Gold Selection Box. So these are, in my opinion, kind of a waste. Now, one thing I will point out, if you're a new player, these are going to be worth it to you. You don't necessarily have the means to get as many of the elemental R stones as kind of veteran players do because you're not able to do a lot of the end game content. So until you're able to do that, these stones are definitely going to be kind of the way you want to go. And then eventually you'll be able to detach these. And the nice thing about these is you can actually go ahead, unpair them using one of the plugs to go ahead and put them on a different character later on down the road if you decide that you've gotten a better stone, maybe one of the R stones that you're going to prefer. So that is going to be my recommendation is to pick those up for newer players that can do so. And then as far as these go, I don't really believe in these. I don't think that these are a good investment, especially for the amount that you have to invest coin-wise. I mean, 5,000 coins for what equates to just generic gold memories is not not worth do not pass go do not collect 200 do not do that uh beyond that not really a whole lot else in here i mean if there is a case to be made if you're a newer player and you just are really trying to zerg on your awakening levels for your early awakening levels then you may decide you want to go ahead and get these i would say that these are not necessarily the greatest things in the world because they are mystery boxes and I mean, really, you're not getting a whole lot here, so there's not a ton of value. So, I don't know. Those I would pass on more than likely. I would try to invest more into these other things, especially these souls here. You'll probably need the extra coins. So, as far as what you're looking at to clear this dungeon, though, since I have the ability to show you guys that because I've already done it, this is actually pretty nice here. So, if you take a look here, I'll make sure I'm in the right one. Yeah. So... Basically, we'll jump into this really quick, and I'll show you guys. This is going to be a very easy clear. 
This shouldn't be anything that is going to cause anybody any bit of trouble, which is nice. Whenever you set this, my recommendation is always to set this to auto. Put it on probably, if you can, if you have the AP, put it on 99 runs and just let it run in the background. Um, but basically you'll see how quick you can run through this and boom, it's already over. So. You can clear these very, very quickly this time around. There aren't any waves or anything like that before the boss that you have to get through. So yeah, you can just go ahead and go in here and grind away without any real issues. I say as Mai stares at us with her sultry eyes. So there you go. And uh, if you stack your team correctly, which you definitely should be doing, and I'll show you guys that briefly here, and then we'll move on to the next topic. But if you go ahead and stack correctly, as you can see, you can get yourself a fair bit of coin each run and these are going to be the things down here that you're going to want in order to stack so for those of you who have not picked up the lady zero make sure you do that from the shop as soon as you can because you can add her to your lineup and then you'll have these other characters here if you were somebody that picked this yashiro which i definitely recommended to everybody for your super mission then you can use her if you already got lady chang from the roulette then you can use her so for new players this should be pretty inclusive if you've invested in on your ss characters which most people i feel like have at this point or the cards which i don't want to talk about it i'm having flashbacks somebody help me um but yeah so that's going to be pretty much your dungeon in a nutshell good luck to all you guys one last thing i will point out here because it is worth mentioning is if you go to your item drops you do have capsules there but they usually have these packages and unfortunately if you take a look here you're not going to see the all-star summon tickets nor are you going to see the battle card summon tickets. So the nicest thing that you're pretty much going to get out of here is going to be the Lady Chang Roulette ticket, which is cool, I guess. You get some cores, you get some gold, so on and so forth, but we don't really have to necessarily worry about trying to grind these for tickets and things like that because these particular boxes in this particular dungeon do not drop them. So that is pretty much it, guys. Good luck to all of you. We're going to go ahead and that is going to do it for the King of Fighters All-Star News. And we're going to go ahead and segue into the King of Fighters 15 news because Andy looking buff. Yeah, my knows it. Look at her. Yeah, see? She all happy. Winking and stuff. Shatter all expectations. Well, he's certainly looking jacked, didn't he, guys? Wow. So, this one was one that some people had predicted. My prediction was my, and I was almost right. She was in the trailer, at least, so I guess I get a quarter of a point for that, right? Right? Okay. But, yeah, so Andy Bogard, right? He's looking, uh, he's looking good. He's got his hair down. He's got a new outfit. He's got some old music back. He's looking good. So, overall, you can kind of tell that he's been hitting the same gym as Shuni. Uh, definitely going to be as he as he starts beating up Shuni. Poor Shuni. Uh, but really with Mr. Andy here, you don't see a whole lot new. You get a lot of uh, details in here as far as his different skills. And you even get a little intro there with Mon which is nice but basically at this point I suppose that the ultimate question is going to become since there's not a lot to see here that's new what looks like he's going to have pretty much his same skills that he's had in 13 and 14 and so on but the big question now becomes if Andy is the this week's trailer right and we've already seen Joe we would assume that that's two of the three members of team fatal fury we have not seen hide nor hair of Terry Bogard right We've seen Mai, 
and there is some theories out there that mine might be Team Fatal Fury, although now that we know that these two are more than likely Team Fatal Fury, I question that. So it'll be interesting to see if Terry is next or Mai is, because we could be we could be seeing a mix-up if Mai is next and she ends up being the round out for Team Fatal Fury here. But time will tell. We have to wait a week. Rip. So anyway, guys, that was today's video. If you enjoyed it, like, share, and subscribe. It always helps, and I appreciate you all greatly. Congratulations to our contest winner. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh,